Alright, well, hello everyone. It's Super Bowl Sunday today. Uh, it's been busy the last few days, so I haven't had time to make any videos. I might make try to make a couple today. Um, the other day, I guess I was uh, hauling a tractor in a baler for my uncle. He bought that and a oh, whole long drive, like 600 miles or 300 miles away. It's a 600 miles round trip, so I helped him haul that back. And then I had to help my other uncle with other things on Friday and then yesterday I got to work and got to the farm and realized that, that there was problems with our liquid tank here. So I'm just going to go through that briefly and uh, I guess they, what happened, they, the guy that brought the liquid feed out actually is the same day that I was feeding, <laughs> I made those videos, brought the liquid feed out and they, they, um, they had it mixed wrong. They had the wrong stuff in there, and, and the guy, I guess, didn't clean his tank out very well from the load before. And it turned our tank into a solid crap in there. You can see the chunks, and it plugged it up. Help the guy they sent yesterday. I guess I done that all day. And finally, we all gave up. I was tired of being in the tank. I had a headache and whatnot. But I guess there's a reason why people need to clean out their tanks because now we have to use uh oh instead of using that liquid stuff in the feed wagon, we're using uh we're using uh pellet. Over to the farm where the pellets are at and show you those bags quick. But anyhow, it sure sucks, you know, when stuff like that happens, but I guess it's just part of doing business and farm and it seems like always something's always happening. It seems like every time stuff goes good, there's always something that goes wrong, but yeah, we gotta use bags. Let's go same stuff as the liquid it's just in a bag so we got to deal with these silly bags I guess until we until we get that pump fixed they said they're gonna come back out tomorrow and work on it some more so I guess we'll we'll see probably gonna make a video on this I haven't actually got it put back together yet but we'll probably do that and then we'll talk about what happened and what went on with that loader but the tank's a lot better than what it was. It was actually about, oh, probably, when I started helping the guy yesterday at about noon, it probably had about a foot or two, probably two foot almost of that sludge in the bottom of it. And it was working pretty good, but then all of a sudden it came loose some of it and slid in the hole and plugged it. This is actually what it looks like. It looks like sand. So the guy thought maybe it was lime. The guy that actually was helping yesterday is not the one that didn't rinse out his tank. It should have been. That had been good punishment for the guy who didn't rinse out his tank. Um, we're not the only farmers that had this happen. Everyone that got load that got this liquid that day um, had the same problem as we had so anyhow I guess here's this video please comment rate and subscribe